Hi, my name is David Kosnick, and thanks for joining me for How to Ace Your PM Data Interviews. This is also an interactive coded document linked to in the description and is going to tell you how you can rock your upcoming interviews. Let's get started. Here on the homepage, uh, there's a brief introduction about my background and how to read this document. This is a living interactive document that you can make your own copy of and use as a worksheet. Interviewers are looking for a range of skills in product manager analytics or data interviews. Structured thinking, asking good questions, being able to change altitude from high level to low level, demonstrating personal experience by tying it back to questions, and having strong communication skills. At Coda, we use a four-point grading system where you either are a strong yes, strong no, or a weak yes or weak no. There's no being on the fence. So keep this in mind as a candidate. You're either going to come out as a yes or a no. And as an interviewer, your job is to make sure you have enough information to make a decision. You can't be somewhere in the middle. There are three main types of data interview questions we're going to be talking about here. Diagnostics, which is how to dig into a metrics change to understand what's going on. Goal setting, around how to determine what a North Star metric should be for a product. And growth, around how to identify, prioritize, compare strategies for how to improve a product's metrics. We're going to have in-depth worksheets for each of these questions. I like to answer these with the same overall framework, which is to first set the context, clarify goals, constraints, important factors, go broad, brainstorm a number of solutions to the prompt, discuss pros and cons, and then finally converge. Select a solution, describe mitigators, follow-ups, and things that would change your answer. Here's what this looks like for each of these three question types. It's worth calling out also that these are corners of the tent, as I like to call them. These are not comprehensive. The reality is questions are often on a spectrum, and these are sort of anchor points. And so you might get a question that's a mix of both. Moving right along, I'll show you a little bit of the rest of this doc. There's a quick page on what is a product manager. The short answer is it's a lot of different things on lots of different products. Lenny Rachitsky has a great survey recently with a quantitative lens on this here. Moving along into diagnostic questions. What are they? How should you answer them? These are questions around some change in metric happens. How do you understand what is causing that? What an interviewer is looking for here is ability to critically problem solve quickly, ask the right set of questions, and have good intuition around where to look next. But this practice question is, sessions are down 20% today, why? In this example, we're pretending we have a cross-platform athlete community. So imagine you're shown this chart. And underneath here, I have a range of exa example answers from strong yeses to strong noes. These are the example answers. And here's the interviewer's takeaway describing why it's good or bad. So I won't go into all the detail in this video, but please go ahead and read through this offline or reach out to me if you have clarifying questions. And in this kind of diagnostic question, you really want it to feel more like a conversation where you're having an insight, asking a good question, getting more information from the interviewer. And so you should expect follow-up where they might reveal new information like this. Actually, it's down across all platforms and you're sort of trying to dig into what this means. How is this helpful? and maybe they'll give even more data and you'll sort of tease it out together. This example doesn't go all the way through a full sample question. It focuses a bit more on st step one and two, which is framing and then working through hypotheses. At the final stage, you'll want to land home a definitive hypothesis that you think is what's going on, as well as steps on how you would prove that, verify it, fix it, mitigate it, and uh, have follow-up work. At the bottom of the diagnostics page, we have example questions here. So this is the one we just worked through, but there's loads of other ones. You're welcome to copy this doc and work through these on your own time. I really like to work through these with other people. If you have any friends who are PMs or experienced interviewers, grab a half hour of their time, work through one of these together, get their feedback. Interviewing is a skill and you definitely get better the more you do it. So practice helps. Goal setting questions. These are around picking a North Star or a um, target metric for a product. And again, I like to follow the same three steps. Set the context, go broad, and then converge. Oh, there's my cat. Hello, cat. This practice question is how would you measure success for a Facebook newsfeed? And so this is step one thinking here. You can see sort of clarifying what's the mission of Facebook's newsfeed? How do we build on top of that? Great, lots of follow-up questions to this you might get. How do you overfit to this metric? How do you try to cheat it? What scenarios does it not cover? And you can see more examples here. And again, there's more practice questions to work through. And the final category is growth. Growth is perhaps the broadest bucket of these. Sometimes this will overlap with product sense type questions or execution questions. It's basically sort of strategy driven by metrics. The data component here is connecting back ideas, prioritizing competing ideas, and using metrics as a justification for how to make hard decisions and how to think about success. Sometimes this will feel a bit more like a marketing question. Sometimes it'll feel a bit more like a brainstorm and prioritization exercise. There's another flavor of these that feels more like a data-heavy kind of algorithms design variation. This practice question is around how would you optimize Amazon's shopping cart conversions? You want to show nuanced thinking just to demonstrate this is not a monolith but there's a lot of different aspects of the product that go into this one metric and figure out which ones you think are the right uh, ones to approach. And again, there's more detailed examples here. Uh, example follow-up, we discover a common delay from shopping cart to purchase is from family members consulting each other at checkout. How might Amazon accelerate that? So this is very much a st step two 
question that's looking for brainstorming a bunch of solutions and then using metrics to make a decision between those and verify it's right. As you start to do more of these, you'll start to recognize which stage each of them is going after. Uh, there's also this massive question bank currently at 71 questions. If you have more, please send them to me. I'd love to include them. And again, I highly recommend doing a mock interview with a friend. I even included a quick blurb here. You can send your friend. I'll definitely customize it, make sure it's in your voice to be able to spend time with them and get real feedback. And if there's all the detailed questions from these examples, you can filter and look through and you can sort them by, by score and skill level. And additionally, various resources people have found useful in doing product manager interview prep broadly. And if you have great examples here, please send this to me as well. Yeah, best of luck in your interviews. Hope you found this helpful. Please leave me a like or a share and uh, give me any feedback. Thanks so much.